other aspects of the wall too. Let's uh, open up the dialog box again. And what I wanted to do is uh, spend a little bit of time. Notice, by the way, you can stretch stretch the size of this dialog box. It's always good to have it nice and big so you can see everything uh, in one hit. I want to spend a bit more time in this part of the dialog box because this is where we can choose construction systems. So here, these are all built into the uh, standard file that you open when you load Archicad up. Um, and I want to point out the difference between some of these things. So you'll notice at some point through these columns you have an area that's called composite structures. So these set up construction systems that are standard in the building industry. Um, above that there's a column called vectorial fills uh, and symbolic fills and then there's one called solid fills. Now uh, the point I want to make is that when you choose uh, one of these composite structures that the wall tool automatically disables the thickness of the wall. That is because these have been preset somebody has designed them so that they reflect the thickness of the wall. In this case two skins of brickwork, a cavity and some rendering. Okay. Um, when we choose a wall pattern that's above this composite structures, so let's pick uh, say mortar, um, then we can change, manually change the thickness of that wall. So I just wanted to point that out. Let's uh, set that wall again at uh, cavity 270 cavity brick. Okay, and say OK, zoom in, and then I'll just point out the fact that as we draw, the active edge becomes very important. As I mentioned earlier, it's generally the outside face of the wall. And as we hit tab, for example, the distance of the active edge is highlighted, and that's the distance that we set up the lengths of the walls with. Um, that will give you an overview of how the wall tool works. It takes a little bit of time getting used to those uh, dialog boxes, understanding how they work. Okay. But um, you need to uh, play with the wall tool. You'll notice that uh, in the D these different uh, settings, this, these two we've talked about before, this one draws rectangular walls in one hit, just like we drew the site before. Uh, hitting the tab key highlights each one of those dimensions and we can even t hit the tab key again and get more information. Escape just drops the wall and so uh, if we hit escape we uh, just cancel that. Um, there's also, we can draw walls on an angle so I set up an angle first and then I can draw that wall. Um, I can also draw curved walls in various ways. These last two, um, they're called um, you know, tapered walls where they change thickness along the, thick, the length of the wall, and uh, which we won't use very much. And this one, uh, which I can draw like a, a bulk thickness wall but again we won't look at these two these two are the ones we're gonna we're going to be uh, looking at in the next few tutorials and setting up using to setting up our building uh, with have a play with some of those things get familiar with them and then we'll be uh, setting up a simple building for you to have a look at